back to Logan's homestead. I think today we're going to get our feed lot ready. So we got to get the feeder back in its place over here along the fence. And uh, I take the skid steer and the round bale and, and dump it over top of the fence. Uh, so I don't have to open up any gates and uh, the cows can't get out that way. So we're going to get it set up since I cleaned up the area this summer and uh, we'll see what we can get done. Let me show you what we got going on here. We got our boards on. And I want to get two more or four more boards to do all of these right here where the feeder is. But this is how we do it. We take half of it, split it so we can fit two bales. And then we don't have to open the gate. We can just drop them over the fence. And they are happy and eating. I do want to get some chain and actually chain the feeder to the post and in the middle here because this bailing wire won't last. They will break it pretty quick actually. So I'll have to get some chain and I will probably end up putting some lag bolts in these, but I didn't have any right now and I kind of wanted to see what it looked like first. So we got a little upgrade here for the 500i. Uh, this is the 25 inch bar that came with the saw when I bought it. Uh, it's been really good. It's a little heavy on the nose, so uh, we're going to change it out and we got a 28 inch light bar that we're going to be putting on it with a Oregon chain. They're really good chains. I like them. So we'll get it switched out.
And there we go. All right, we'll see how she cuts. what you think about the organ chains versus steel chains and what's your favorite chain or bar um, please like and subscribe and comment down below thanks for watching